Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back. And today we are, of course, working on the Forest Journal. Um, I have already done as um, some one of my lovely subscribers suggested and attached an extra piece of the green sari silk uh, to the middle so that it's plenty long enough now to wrap around. So I'll just put that aside. I may glue it onto the back um, when it's finished, I'm not sure. I don't know if it needs to be glued really. So we're going to carry on working in the reverse side of the journal. So we've got we've got to here and I had a few bits pulled out that I was thinking of thinking of putting um, on this area here. So um, I have uh, torn this piece out. This is a piece of um, of a jelly print because I thought it just needed another something here on this join just to, to kind of bring these two halves to two uh, sides together. So I'm going to glue that on first. I think I need to ink it, which I haven't done. Should have, but I forgot. So I'm going to do that first. Right, so I'm going to glue that here. I'm just going to do that right now. And that's where the there's a there's a fold here, so it should cover that up. going to put that kind of here and I want to I think I'll use my bone folder just to make sure it goes into that crease Should be okay, hopefully, and that just brings these areas together. Um, now I I had my little fairy, which I was going to pop here, sitting on these uh, on these bits of fabric. So I want to put her there, but I think she needs a little bit of extra something. So I have cut her out some wings, which. Of course, now I can't find, can't see what I've done with them. They were in there with her, and then moving, opening the book. I think they've disappeared. What we're done with them? Okay, well, we can put this pocket on because I was going to overlap it, but I think it, because I don't really want the pocket to be. Over that join, I'm going to put it about here, and there'll be, and I'll glue it down this side and along the bottom, and then there'll be a, a nice tuck spot here. I think that's what I'm going to do next. So I'll do that, and then we'll deal with the fairy after that. Just want it right up as close as I can get to that. I think I've glued it right up to the top there, so it should be okay. 
and then we've got a nice pocket here and the and this has been reinforced as you saw with some book page well it's actually the page of a magazine that had quite nice thick pages so I used that right now where are these wings that I cut out for her They fluttered onto the floor. So, where are we? Nope, wrong way. This way. There she is. I'm gonna, I'll just pull this out a bit. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just trying to remember how I, how they were meant to be. And that one goes on here. Yeah, I'll just put some glue on the, on the wings themselves and then I'll add the little bit of glittery ribbon to it. Side and the white of the glue will will disappear. These wings are quite approximate. Um, they're not that easy to to cut out now. Is it? Where's it gone? That way. It's gone on that. That. Okay. Trim this off a little more. Right, so she's now got slightly glittery, floaty wings. Her here, right on the on the edge, of the, sort of on the area between these two joints. I think. But before I do that, should I put her on? I could put her on. I might put her on last because I want to do a little bit more stenciling on here. I think it really the area that needs it. It's looking a little bit like it needs something else across the across the top here. So I brought this stencil in again, which I really like. I'm going to just not too much, just a little bit at the top. I'll just put my pen back in here. Let it go. Just do a little bit of dangly foliage, and I'm going to use. I think first of all, I'm going to use a bit of the mowed lawn, which is the brighter green, and I think I'll tone it down a bit with the other green, the forest moss, which actually is a bit quite a yellowy green, really. I 
try not to overdo it. Pull this up a little bit. And I get a bit more colour where it's over this edge. Okay, let's see how that looks. It's quite faint. I didn't want to have it too dark, but I may not have actually put enough on, so I might just go over it just a little bit more, and then we'll use the forest moss. the forest moss over that. Okay. Just softens this top edge, brings in the greenery, doesn't it? I think we'll we'll leave it at that for there. Now we'll add our fairy. The fairy. Yeah, she's going to go down there, and then we're going to add a little something else. down there. Okay. Right, now I would like to add something else. And I have my leaves. Now I've got to decide which colour. I might use a bit of both, I'm not sure. to go for some of these brown leaves kind of around her or just up I didn't want to think about just putting it up there just climbing up so she's kind of lurking amongst some leaves really I like this idea that she's hiding a little bit I'm just wondering if that's the best colour or the green some of the green this side. Maybe I'll add a bit of both, I'm not sure. Right. Gluing these things is not easy at all, but I like the effect they give, so I'll just probably do them a bit at a time with my little fabric glue. I 
on this bottle, make sure I'm not blocked up, hopefully. And I also got to make sure I put the glue on the right side because this these little leafy trimmers do twist. Very easy to glue the wrong side. Now let's see, <coughs> let's see if a bit of this would also work. I don't know whether to have that going up behind her. Where is it? I might just have a little bit going up here. Yeah, I think I might have enough a bit going up there. Maybe a little bit coming up here from behind her. I don't know, don't know how it's going to look. Let's give it a try. I think it's quite a bit of fun. Just my fingers. Okay, so got a little fairy in her viney, viney little leafy glade. <laughs> well, let's put the the lids on these before I forget. And of course, we've got some more of those viney leaves hanging over here as well, haven't we? It's kind of continuing. Right, and then. Right at the end, it opens out into a more open area where there's, where there's a pool and there's a bit of sky. And we've got a swallow in the sky. I've got my little swallow stamp here. And where's my black ink? There it is. I'm just going to put one or maybe two swallows swooping around. in the sky as well. What more can you want? Okay. So, I think, I'm not sure there's much more I, I want to do on this. I may put a pocket here. I think it will need, well it has got a pocket here, hasn't it? I haven't got anything here. We don't have to have a pocket on every single page. I've got a pocket here. 
and then there'll be pockets to be added. I can certainly put a pocket on, on this area. So I think, I feel like it might not need much any more doing to it. I mean, I might think of things as I go along, but I'm rather happy with how that's looking. I'm beginning to feel like I want another stag, maybe. Of course, I've got those lovely stag stamps. I'm wondering whether to put a stag in here. box of goodies. I've got a few pieces. I've got this stag or I've got the lovely ones from the Your Creative Studio set. Uh, no, that's that one. So is he too big to go there? Can you tell me? Is he too big to sit on that corner? Oh, I rather like him just there at the edge of the lake. Yeah, why not? Let's put him on there. Brown or black? I did him in brown before. I think maybe I'll do brown again. It's quite a nice colour. This is the pine cone from Versafine Claire. Right. And put the ink on here. Try not to get it. I better do it on the mat so I don't get it inadvertently lobbed on my background. Hopefully this will come out okay. Fingers crossed everybody. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I need my, my block just to press him down, don't I? Don't move. That gives me a bit more purchase. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do like him. So yeah, so there he is, standing at the edge of the forest, looking across, across the, um, across the lake there. Here we go. So I think this is just about done as far as the preparation and the background goes. So I think we need to start adding pockets. I didn't even know I'd get to this today. Right, so I've pulled out my pockets. Um, the ones that have been decorated and there's the little handful here that I haven't done anything with yet. May or may not use them. So let's just go through and see where we need a pocket. And, oh, just, sorry, I'm just going to put the glue the lid back on my glue so it doesn't dry out. Yeah, where we might need a pocket and whether we've got one to fit. So we've got, it always seems to jump past this first page. Don't know why. Ah, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit sticky along this edge. I think it must be the paint. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to put something along there. Right, so we have got this is this a little pocket? Oh, it is. So we have a little pocket here and we have a pocket here. So they're, they're there. And then, let's see. We have this place, space here, which I think does need something. Um, 
do want to put that there. I know we've gone through all these and sort of vaguely placed them. That doesn't mean I'm going to use the ones that I thought I would use before. I'm just was just trying to see about numbers really. So let's see what we've got and see what looks what we think looks best there. So I've got mm. it's, it's quite hard to work in this journal because it's so it's so wide when you start opening it out. Right, so this one opens there. There's a pocket here. This isn't a pocket. You could put something in the side here or at the top. So that could go there. Or we have this one. I love this one. I think it would go anywhere. That one there. I really like that one. Seriously tempted to put that one there. This one I think I'd want to use as a side tuck, even though it's been backed, but it makes it nice and sturdy. And that could go there, but then I think it's, it doesn't take up enough room. So at the moment, I think this is my fave to go on here. This one, again, that needs to, that doesn't quite work there for me. And this one with the little fairy. Nope, not, not, not there. And then you've got these little ones, these little kit ones. Nope, nope, nope. I really want to use this one. That's the one I want to put there. Could you tell? I just like it there. So it's going on. Filthy finger there. Looks like I think, I think I've got some ink on it. I think it's coming off. Right. Okay, that's gone on there. Let's move on. Trying to find some just to put the pockets while I'm working my way through. Right, so let's fold this one under. Move it along a little bit. Now what did I do here? Oh, I think I wanted to reinforce. I think when I was looking through it earlier, I found that this was getting a little bit bent back, so I glued a bit of paper to it, and it just needs trimming around, which could be a little tricky. But we'll do our best, and then I'll just ink around it if it if it doesn't um, if I'm not able to get as close as I'd like. Right, because that was just it was just bending back a little bit. I think it just wasn't strong enough as a tuck. So this one is fine because we've already got a pocket on there. Get my pin in. There we are. Um, so it's got its pocket here and it's got its tuck spot here. So we'll leave that as it is. And then this one, we do have. I feel I want to do something here because of. It all got a little bit messy where it got a bit discoloured and I've done my best to add some extra bits of paint and stuff but it does look a bit of a mess there so I'm just wondering um, dum, 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 where's it gone I wanted to get some of those that leafy leafy trim again oh there it is, oh, there it is. I think the, the green rather than the brown for this bit Keep tangling with each other. I'm just wondering whether to put a little bit of this 
around the pocket like that. Does that work? Might do. I think, I'm, I think I might do that. It just makes the pocket just um, cheers it up a little bit, doesn't it? Might just put the glue on and then trim it when I've, because I'm not quite, not quite sure how long I need it to be. Just make sure I haven't got glue closing the pocket. Um, yeah, I think the pocket only goes there and down here. That's it. And I need a little bit of something here. Hmm. No, I don't think that would work there. Not really used tickets on here, have I, so I don't think now will be a good time. Just not happy about this area still. Maybe maybe I'm being a bit too because I'm too close to it, aren't I? Maybe maybe that's the problem. Hopefully the the bit of vine around there will help. So I've got that pocket and we have this side tuck here. Oh, before I go any further, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, for your lovely comments on this journal. You all seem to be really enjoying it. I think it's just a bit different for me, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, you seem to be um, enjoying my little, my journey with this uh, mixed media -y, messy journal. I'm really enjoying it, so I'm so glad you are too. And they're coming along with me and kind of enjoy, yeah, enjoying the journey, really. It is a journey. Um... Right, we need something here, don't we? Let's see what we've got. Now it's going to have to be... I'm thinking of a corner. Corner one? Have I got a corner one that goes that way? Oh, this one might work. No, I'm not sure. That one... There we go. Oh, no, that's, a little, that's that one. That might work. No... I'm sure I had another corner one here somewhere. I don't think I only did one. Where is it gone? Maybe I only decorated one, I can't believe that. Maybe I didn't. Oh well, don't know where the other corner one... Uh, did I do another corner one? Can you remember? I can't remember what I've done. I have got this. Would that work better? Maybe. Maybe that would work quite well there. Hmm. I'm going to cut that corner off, I think. Like so. And then something can go in here, can't it? I think that would work all right. Ink around it.
I know what it is. I've already had another corner in there, which is over there. Further down, you'll see it in a minute. That's why I'm confused. And there's still two... Are there two corners in here I haven't used? Or is it only one? Oh, I don't know. Oh yes, there's still two that I haven't used, so... I did only decorate one, that's good. I'm not going mad, or losing my, losing things. I'm just forgetting what I've done. Right, let's put these here. And these. And let's see if we can put something else. So we've got her. And I've got this corner pocket. Oh, let's move it a couple, dear. All right, so move it along as best we can. Move the pockets out of the way. So we've got nothing on here at the moment. Um, let me think. I was wondering about a little top tuck up here. That would cover up. Would cover up all my lovely gold up here, wouldn't it? That up here. Could that? Could I put something up there? Possibility, isn't it? Or I've got this one, which would also that looks upside down, doesn't it? I don't think that's right. I think that needs to go that way. Could she go? Could it go there? Oh, we, we, no, that wouldn't look right because I'll tell you why I don't like that there. So I've got a corner corner pocket here and another one here so putting another one the same that wouldn't work would it and I've got a little is that a tuck no no that's just background so I am seriously considering putting that this one up here I might need to put a little bit of something on it hmm wondering whether just to put a little bird on it because it's kind of got the blue it's got the sky look hasn't it just hmm can I put something on there or just leave it as it is I think it might need a little bit of gold, a little bit more gold. It's already got one splatter of gold. Maybe I just need to put a little bit more. I'll do it after I've glued it down. I'm going to be bold and just glue it down. And then maybe put some something on afterwards. Don't know yet. Sometimes you can... You don't need to decorate absolutely everything. Although I, I struggle with decorating, you know, not decorating something. I must admit, but there are times when it just needs to be simple because there's so much else going on. Just that little patch of this little bit of blue up here in the corner, and I could just use my little swallow. How about that? Just that little swallow up there. Maybe that's all I need. And this has got... Sometimes gets a bit black on the corners. I'm just going to wipe it around. So 
So all I did is the swallow. Not, not, and not a, a border that I don't want. Hopefully that will come out. I think I was lucky with the other two. I didn't get this extra bit of colour on it. Okay, just pop that there. There we are. I think that might be enough. It's been quite fun using my little stamps. Don't very often use things like this. Just to give this place, a, this uh, journal, a bit of life here and there. So, we have this pocket here. And we have this pocket here. So we're good for pockets on this side, or on this section. And now we've got this last area here. Is this a pocket? No, 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 it's not a pocket. So, I'm wondering if I need something. Mm, she's gonna be hidden there, isn't she? Maybe I just need a pocket here. Small one, like that, on the back. I think I will. I think I'll just put this little pocket here. I think no more corner pockets. We have enough corner pockets in this section of the journal. So I'm just going to put this one on. Maybe I've got enough. I haven't used any of my Roxy Creations ones yet, have I? Right, so let's start going back the other way. Have we got a pocket here? I think we may have. Can't remember where I put pockets and where I didn't. Oops. Is this one? It is. Smallish one. I think it's more for a tag than for a journal journal card. Got that there. something up here but I'm not sure what. Not that I don't think. Maybe I shouldn't have decorated these because I could have put this up here and that would have worked quite well wouldn't it? And the other one doesn't because it's... I don't think it would work. Like that? No because it looks the trees are coming going the wrong way aren't they? Yes, okay. Mm, I may come back to that. Might think of something to put there. Well, what we got here. Some of this is needs a bit more glue, I think. I think it's a bit tricky over these joins where the if the paper's not really well stuck it will just curl up. Right. So what have we got on this page? We have a pocket here. And we have a pocket here, so we're good for pockets on that page. And on this page, we have nothing, we just have this little 
top tuck up here. I'm wondering whether I could put something up here. Hmm. No, I think it might be better there. We need to put something. I oh, know that's going to clash with this one coming out here, isn't it? No, that won't work. Pop it here. Can we put something there? Oh, we've got this one. No, I don't think these are quite working. They're just too big. I think that one might be quite nice there. Yeah. I was just wondering whether something could go up there. Because I haven't decorated, so I could... Could do that. Again, I might come back to something doing something with that, but I'll I think I'll glue this one on. Oh, we need a nice big one here, don't we? Or, yeah, we could have, that one would be quite nice there, wouldn't it? So that's, pocket there, then we can have something here. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on here, I think. Glue it on three sides. Bit of uncurling here. Oh no, is that supposed to open? Yes, it is. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't want to glue that shut, do I? Loop, 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 loop. I'm going to have to put something on there now, otherwise, it's going to glue to itself. So that's not a bad idea to put something down here to reinforce. Maybe I use a little piece of this um, jelly print that I was using earlier on. Just finishes that off actually up there. I quite like that. And we've got, <coughs> got a little pocket here. And a pocket here for a small small tag. We can small tags we can do. I think we have a few of those and I can just make any more that I need. So how are we doing? So we need to close that in there. So I think we're nearly at the end. So we could hopefully just get the last 
pocket or two on there. Ooh. I've got more pockets than I have got space for really, haven't I now? Let's have a look. any of these work on here. So I don't want to cover up the animals that I've already put on there. I don't want to cover her up. So we have a pocket here. I have nothing here, it's just decorative. So we really need to have something up here, don't we? Look at that, that's the same as that pocket. Where is it? Oh, we have this one. We just squeeze that in somewhere, don't we? So, I wonder if we can just put that piece there. And it just echoes what's behind it, doesn't it? If I could put it right up there. I might just do that. Yeah, I think I will. I think there might be some gold splatters to come on this area, on this section. Kind of in homage to Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, whose kit this is, because she loves her gold splatters. It's not something I very often do. But she's obviously made them part of the decoration on the kit, so I think I will just enhance that a bit. I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> and then we've got a little pocket up here. It would have been better the other way around, but it might have looked a bit odd actually, going across that way. So anyway, I'll put it like that. We're just going to put something in here. Maybe a journal card will go quite nicely there. Right, and let's see where we can put this corner pocket. So we have this, this one here, I wonder if that could go there. I had intended to put this somewhere. I can't remember where I was going to put it. I had definitely got a plan for it. <laughs> I mean it's obviously too big, but I just thought it would go really well. But maybe I'll find a slot for it next time because I think this is going to have to be the last thing I put on here but actually I quite like it there. I'm going to put that corner pocket right there. We've got nothing else going on here really pocket wise. I know we don't have to have something on every page but it's nice to have lots of things to discover and pull out. And I want to make as much use of the kit as I can. And because this folds this way, I am going to have to trim off his tail feathers, unfortunately. It would depend. If it was going to be on the outside edge, it would probably would have been okay, but as it happens, I think I'd better trim them off. There we are. Okay, so I think this is going to be as far as we get today, because I've finished the background and added as many pockets as I possibly can. Just need to glue these couple of bits down again, um, a bit more. These two, some of these little leaves are being caught by the corner, uh, by the join. I'll try and glue them down a bit more firmly. Oh, it's school time. All the garden, you can hear all the children walking past, squealing and laughing and just generally be child, being children.
because we've got the school up the road and it's just that time of day when they're being collected. Well, I might leave that there for them to dry before I try and close that one again. So there we are. I think we're pretty much done unless I can think of any more little bits of decoration I might want to add which is always possible but in the next video which could be the last one I will add journal cards and tags to the pockets but we will probably need to make some more and that may not happen or um, happen in the next video I don't know we'll see how we go but yeah, I've had lots of fun today making this, finishing this off. Ish. <laughs> Getting it there anyway. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.